Hi guys, I'm coming to you today with an awesome, really awesome uh, haul, which is really a combination of two of my local thrift stores and a churchyard sale that was happening. Um, if you like this video, if you find any beneficial tips or advice, please definitely give it a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you think. I'm always interested in reading your thoughts and your comments and um, anything that you'd like to see in future videos. And also, if you love this video and you love the content that I'm sharing, please be sure to subscribe. Um, just recently celebrated with a big giveaway for reaching 500 subscribers and I have bigger goals for loftier things so 750 is the next um, step 750 subscribers so um, let's get straight into it and show you guys what I found the first place that I stopped at was a local thrift store just a few miles south of the town that I live in and when I walked in they were having a bag sale I never make it to the bag sales like um, you know I don't know I don't know why I don't make it to the bag sales. Okay, I hear about the bag sales hours after they've happened, but I walked in and it was everything you could fit into like a Walmart shopping bag, like a plastic shopping bag um, for $5. So let me show you the types of things that I found. And these clothes are wrinkled because they were balled up to fit into this bag, okay? I rolled them and then the cashier was trying to help and she kind of like balled them up, which was super helpful. Um, so they were nice about, you know, trying to get everything into a bag. So um, all of the next things that I'm about to show you, I got for $5. Um, plus a few things that aren't here, I'm seeing um, that maybe Maybe those things ended up in my closet. Okay, this first thing is a green blouse. Um, this was originally for me. I tried it on when I got home, and it's not going to work. It's way too small. It doesn't even button around the bust line. Um, it is Worthington brand, medium. So I will probably throw this on my eBay store and see what I can get out of it. Uh, maybe somewhere between 5 and $10. I don't expect a whole lot. It's Worthington brand. Um, the second thing is you know all the rage with the fashion bloggers this beautiful checkered blazer and i know a lot of people are doing men's blazers oversized but this is actually a women's it's liz claiborne it is uh, i don't know what size it is to be honest with you just yet but this is going on my ebay store for sure um some lucky fashion blogger is going to end up with this it's got some shoulder padding in it this is fabulous this was part of my five dollar bag um i got this great Lauren Ralph Lauren blue and white striped kind of a boat neck um, three-quarter length form-fitting tee okay this was part of the five dollar bag I love to get some vintage items from this particular thrift store that I went to this is the eSprit am I pronouncing that wrong <laughs> hope not anyway the eSprit brand dress shirt women's dress shirt look at this funky pattern this is so cool hopefully I'll get somewhere around maybe $15 out of this I don't know tell me what you would comment uh, or what you would uh, what you would price this one at I'll have to check out some comps on that um, okay, these are super funky they're not any like particular brand or anything casual aisle casual aisle anyway look at these men's windsuit pants they're vintage you know super swishy windsuit anyway I'm just thinking that with the color of these and being vintage the elastic's still in good shape the drawstring's in good shape the hemlines are in good shape maybe I can get like some pretty decent money out of these they're vintage windsuit pants and I think that that's kind of in right now which brings me to my next thing that I got. I'm have to move the camera for a minute. Okay, these ones are vintage Nike windsuit pants. And I know with Nike, you go based off of the color of the tag, I guess the era that they were manufactured in. And this one's a white tag with black. So I'm not exactly sure the era. These have also a really tiny waistline. Like look at this in comparison with my head. And it says size USA 6'8", size small. A 6'8". Like that would have to be kids because with women's a six eight first of all it wouldn't be six to eight unless they just said size medium i feel like but i don't this these would be like a women's six or eight like these are tiny so maybe they have to be kids but look how long they are they're probably longer than the men's so i'm kind of confused on the sizing on these maybe i can find something else but like it's got a little nike there it's got the great drawstring or drawstring elastic bottoms they're super super lightweight so I'm hoping to get a little bit on these on eBay 
also part of the five dollar bag this is all in one five dollar bag guys um l r l lauren jeans company ralph lauren beautiful black sweater it's not it's a little faded it's not quite as faded as the screen is showing right now it's got these beautiful buttons at the top here so i'm hoping maybe i can get a little bit off of this beautiful ralph lauren oh my gosh this next piece totally reminds me of like in living color or something i was not going home without this especially fitting it into a five dollar bag look at this blazer it's short look at the buttons how fabulous is this thing i'm not gonna wear this <laughs> I'm gonna sell this. I think it's great. I think someone's gonna see this and just absolutely love it. So hopefully I can get a couple bucks off of that. Oh, the branding on it, Les Soute Petite. And the buttons are just great. It's just got all the 80s uh, colors going about it. This one is Ruby Road, which is not a brand that I deal with a whole lot, but I see a lot of resellers hauling Ruby Road um, on their Instagram and stuff. And I'm hoping I can do fairly decent on this. Women's blouse size 12 with eyelet detail it's got like a laser cut detail about the entire thing really pretty also part of the five dollar bag this one has the same type of detail this is a kato's women's blazer in a size extra large look at this pretty blazer again it's kind of wrinkled because we shoved everything into the bag but you can see the blazer here isn't this pretty i tried this on but it was a little too big on me props to me <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, it was a little bit too big. You know, I've been working out. Let me show you. See, I've been. Okay, the, that looked really wimpy. Anyway, but I have been working out. This blazer, size 12, going in my store. <gasps> Look how pretty this is. I think I got more than one of these. So, yeah, maybe there's some things that didn't make it down here into this haul. But this is so beautiful. Look at this dress. The brand is Allison Peters. Look at this little dress. I don't know. What do you think? 50s, 60s on this? Maybe from the 60s. It's really sheer though. It's got some shoulder padding. This is so pretty. I feel like this, and here's a little pattern that's on it. I feel like this would sell really well. I don't know. Maybe this is 80s because the pattern on it is kind of 80s like. I don't know. I need to, I need to research this a bit more, but I feel like I could get a little bit off of this because vintage clothing sells pretty decently on eBay. And then I got in the same $5 bag. I'm not even through the first $5, guys. $5. This Wrangler shirt. Look at the branding here. All huge on the side. It says Wrangler. Wrangler. This is definitely going in my store. Cowboy Western wear. Western shirts. Also in this, I got a... Um, Finn Wright Manson, is that, I'm, I hope I'm saying that name right, uh, blue blazer with like some leather detail on the pockets, same $5 bag, that's mine, I'm keeping that. I got a um, an Express cardigan style blazer, um, keep, or not keeping that, that one is going to be sold. Um, and then I got this cool, I wish I had it down here. I thought I brought all this stuff down to haul, but um, maybe I left some of it upstairs at the couch. I was trying to list some things last night. But I got this really cool, like 70s maybe style um, jumper. I'll, I'll include it in a haul video this next week because I'm sure I'll bring you guys some kind of a haul video. Um, the few things that I left out of this. But that was all in one $5 bag plus the items that I forgot. Okay, and then... This morning, okay, there's a, a church in our town that has been advertising for the better part of a month that they're having a gargantuan yard sale. And I have been looking forward to it and I um, booked it as an appointment this morning. And it really wasn't that huge, but I did find some good things. First thing I found, totally keeping this. Look at this. You guys know I have a, like a 20 month old baby. Look at this cute little vest. What's the branding on this? Gino Giovanni. Gio Giovanni. Okay, it's the size 2T, but hang on, you're about to die. It comes with shorts. My baby's totally wearing this for Easter. How adorable can we possibly get? Like, in the words of our 16-year-old, what even? Like, this is so cute. This was, as you can tell, $1. Why would I not? Why would I not have picked this up? 
<laughs> when it doesn't fit him, you know, we'll probably resell it. But this is adorable. So that was a dollar at the yard sale today. Oh, this is for me. It's so beautiful. It's it's warming up, you know, it's just the beginning of March and it's 60 degrees here and I found this wool coat and I had to buy it. I know it's kind of crazy, right? But you would have bought it too, especially for $2. It's Preston and York. It's this gorgeous vintage long, 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 long wool coat. Look at the quality of this. Oh my gosh, look at the condition of this. I love this it's so beautiful it's so um again very fashion bloggery with the uh you know long line coat but this is vintage this is uh, gonna be a part of my wardrobe i love this this is such a high quality wool piece i just i could just picture a pretty little fashion brooch there on the side this thing is gorgeous i would stand up and show you but then you still wouldn't be able to see the whole thing it's split in the back here oh this is so beautiful Okay, so that was $2 today at the yard sale. And, oh, they had these. Okay, this shirt that I'm wearing right now, I had this on this morning at this yard sale. And um, a lady was looking with me. Um, she was looking through the men's stuff. And she's like, oh, I think these t-shirts are men's. I don't want to buy these. And I said, oh, well, this t-shirt that I'm wearing is men's. I got it in the men's department. Don't you think it, it looks good, right? So that encouraged her to go ahead and think outside of the box and get one of these men's t-shirts for herself. And I got one for me too. I don't even know what size this is. I just looked at it and was like, that'll probably fit. Okay, it's a men's medium. It's polo, it's blue, and it has, this is actually orange if it's not picking up real well on the camera. Isn't this so cute? Just for a little t-shirt, either work out around the yard or something, or if you got it like a quick trip out into town or something like that, a little logo there because you know logos are kind of the thing this year um in the fashion world so that was two dollars this i got to resell i got israel a hat but i don't see it in there i hope we didn't end up not getting the hat because i know we got charged for it look what i found to resell are you ready for this this is awesome let me show you the brand first dun 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 coach do you see that this was five dollars it's bright orange it is quilted look at this i just now saw that it is quilted with the c logo all over the entire thing oh my gosh this thing is so fabulous it's a size small or i would probably try to wear it myself um coach branding on the buttons gorgeous gold buttons this is going in my store for sure this was five dollars like, I can't wait to see what I get off of this. Look at the lining. It's this beautiful satin. Oh, this thing is so pretty. So beautiful. Yeah. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think I might get out of something like this. It's bright orange. It kind of looks red on the camera, but it's definitely bright orange. If you can see, you know, it's still looking red. But, yeah, it's orange. It's so pretty, kind of a, like a vermilion color. I always do well with Coach online. I don't know what it is about Coach. People like flock to it. Coach has got to be like really something before it impresses me. Like for me personally, I like the vintage pieces. I like really outstanding pieces. I do think that's an outstanding piece and Coach always resells well for me. Um, the hat's not in here, but we got Israel, uh, the baby, this cute little um, blue polo hat. And oh, at the first place that I went to um, that I hauled, the $5 bag place, I also got these um, vintage pantyhose. Obviously, I paid 50 cents for them. The last time I had vintage pantyhose online, I sold them for like 10 or $15 pretty quickly within the first time that I listed them. And I think they were Great Legs by Hanes also. So 50 cents to 10 or $15, I will totally take that. Okay, the last little bit here. Um, oh, and all of the stuff that I got at that yard sale was $11, $11.50. And then we went to another local thrift store and they had half off. Are you kidding me? Like a great yard sale, a $5 bag sale at one of the places, and now a half off sale at the other thrift store. This is awesome. Look what I got. A little change of pace here from the clothes. I know you want to change of pace. You're not going to believe this. It's so beautiful. I paid 50 cents for this. The CNC from 1964. Look at the pictures on this thing. 
Some of these are listed upwards of $30 on eBay. A lot of them are selling for around $12 and, uh, you know, plus shipping. So I don't know. I hope I get something good out of this. The baby is sleeping, but I want to give you a, a sound bit here. Mary, Mary. It was an old woman who lived in a shoe. Oh, wow. So cute. I just love this. I think this is great. Oh, it does actually say on here Mattel Inc. 1983. So I guess the mold, mold is from 1964, but the actual CNSA was printed in 1983. So still pretty vintage little piece. Um, I also got um, my husband went crazy in the VHS department and I never really buy all these VHSs because I think that we have a million of them at our house already. Yes, we still have a VCR that we watch probably more than our DVD player, but these are the movies that he got. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, well, Steve Martin in there, who could ever pass that down. Uh, Out to Sea. <laughs> what? Yeah, if you can't tell, he really likes some comedy. Um, Hoosiers. That's a sports movie, right? I've not seen that. Uh, the Ghost and Mr. Chicken, because he's a Don Knotts fan. Okay, Andy Griffith all the time in our house. Um, I might have to watch this one with him. I feel like I feel like this would be a good one for a little date night um, between me and him. And it looks like he got Rudy also. And VHSs at that thrift store are most of the time a quarter, so. Um, okay, going back to my eBay store, I got this piece. I don't sell this brand a whole lot, but I saw it nonstop at the $5 bag sale. And so I looked it up and some of the pieces went for quite a bit. The Talbot, Talbots, Talbots, I don't know exactly how you pronounce it. Don't make fun of me for pronouncing it wrong. Um, but this isn't a medium and look at this pretty green cardigan. I feel like I could do pretty good with this and I paid a dollar for it. So I will totally take that. It's not really showing. Let me try to okay yeah you can see how the the trim is there isn't that beautiful this little green cardigan you're not really getting to see it much at all because i i'm failing to hold it up well i better take better pictures than that for my ebay um oh look what we got for the baby sorry back away from ebay again we'll get this little baby cap jacket it's 12 to 18 months and he's in like 2t clothes but this jacket fit him perfectly i paid a dollar for this again once he's done wearing it i could totally resell that but my baby's wearing that this is a brand that i don't do a whole lot and i did go ahead and search the comps while i was at the store and it looked like everything in this brand was selling pretty well do you have um do you have any experience with emmanuel emmanuel ungaro Look at this pretty top. Like sometimes you just see pieces and you just know that they are quality. It put off vintage vibes, but this, the tag didn't look vintage. But then the pieces that I looked up were vintage. But this font does not look vintage to me. But the, the collar does. The sleeves do. The length of the top, you know, kind of crop. Definitely looks like a sweater that you would find in like, I don't know, the 50s or 60s. So that was a dollar. I can't wait to try this on. Oh, I bought this for me. This is a Lodi brand. I don't know, probably some boutique fashion. I hope that this fits. So let me quit messing it up so you can actually see it. Grab the shoulders of it. Look at this top. It's a totally open in the front. Totally open. See, here's the neck. And then it's open so you'd wear like a white tank top or something and i'm just picturing this like it has kind of an elastic um waistline here like an elastic hem so can't you just picture it with jeans with little um emblem belts and tucked in very fashion bloggery once again this is so pretty i love neutrals when it comes to clothing for my own fashion so i'm wearing this this was um since it had red on it it's normally four dollars so it was half price this was two dollars <sighs> look what i found for my store oh my gosh i'm always looking for stuff like this and this is the first time i've ever been to this particular thrift store really really early so a little bit of advice maybe show up early because i never find anything like this look at this this is awesome it's got a little flag on the sleeve i paid a dollar for this this is so great this is going to my store it's a size medium in yellow it's beautiful. I love it. 
Um, this is also going to go in my store, Talbot's, Talbot's brand again. And look, this one's like leopard print. This is so pretty. I paid a dollar for this. I feel like I could probably do pretty good on that. Okay, I'm glad this item's the last because definitely like saving the best for last year. You're not even going to believe this. I just showed you the Tommy Hilfiger um, sweater and I feel like all of the logos are definitely in right now. 90s is finally considered vintage and not just old clothing. So everything 90s, early 2000s is super, super in. It's trendy right now. You know, those vintage pieces and Tommy Hilfiger obviously is, is in with that. And look at this. This is a two piece tracksuit. Okay. It's black. I paid a dollar fifty for this. It's black, velvety. It is the collar has you know the Tommy logo. The lining around the zipper has the Tommy logo on it. And where else did I find it outside? Oh, okay. It says Hill Figure here on the arm. Look at here's the jacket and <laughs> the pants. Uh, look at the waistband of these pants. I paid a dollar fifty for this. There's one just like it listed online for thirty dollars plus shipping right now. The butt of the pants has a little flag on it. Like these are pretty awesome. These are size large. Um, I'm not gonna keep them. I'm not gonna keep them. Okay, really, I won't keep them. But these are. <laughs> I just got something in my eye off of these pants. <sighs> they cost me a dollar fifty and a left eye. It's okay. I'm like, I can hardly see it on my left eye anyway. Anyway, $1.50 for this. This was great. Um, I think at the store I paid like $9 for everything that I got. And I also got this little Kermit, um, the frog from 1985. He's this little plush and I guess he got left upstairs earlier because the baby was playing with him. But he is like made out of wool instead of uh, felt or anything. He's super, super cool and he was 50 cents. So I feel like I did super good. Um, my husband and I have been talking and I think I'm going to go ahead and take the plunge and subscribe to a store on eBay and actually pay it's $20 a month if you pay for, like, if you commit to a whole year, and it's $25 a month if you just do it monthly. And you get 250 listings, so it's like having, you know, 10 cents a listing if you want to look at it like that. Currently, I only get 50 free listings. Uh, so I just can't put a whole lot of stuff on there. I mean, unless they send me promotions, and last month they did. They sent me a 100 item promotion, and they sent me a um, 200 item promotion. I took advantage of the 100 item one. I feel like I got a lot up, but I didn't get a 100. But the 200 one, I put like two items up. I ended up getting so busy during that seven days that they gave me to put up 200 free listings, and I just blew it. But... Anyway, I guess I'd be picking and choosing which ones to relist right now, but my store is definitely picking up. I want to get all this inventory on there, so I think I'm going to take the plunge because most of my items sell for around $20 a piece, so if you look at it, that's the cost of one item. I mean, that's not bad, and I'm going to be doing some different things with my eBay storage, so if you guys would like to see that, definitely comment and let me know. If you uh, watch the thrift hauls, just because you want to know what I got for my my personal um you know my family use or try on hauls or anything like that let me know i'd love to obviously make content that you guys are interested in i thank you so much for watching this video i know it was long but and i thought about bro breaking it up into a couple different hauls there was so much to show you so thanks for uh waiting till the end because you waited till the end i'm gonna give you a joke we have a new google home speaker and i ask it to tell me jokes all the time like if you don't do that with your google you can do it on your phone you can do it on your google home speaker you're you're wasting your life if you don't say google make me giggle and it'll tell you a joke or google tell me a joke or google make me laugh and um it told me one um why don't melons get married because they can't elope because you stayed to the end you got to hear that amazing joke so god bless you guys you're awesome peace out